what's going on my guys welcome back to my channel i'm gary with game of the beach very excited to be here with you today because we are jumping into mirror match as you can see and guys they have officially fixed mirror match okay they have adjusted so that card levels are not are now actually mirrored as well so everything is what like a tournament standard i don't know exactly what the card levels are i know Legendaries is 7. I think Epics are 10. I'm not exactly sure what anything else is, but it, there is a tournament standard. So this is going to be my first time playing the new Mirror Match. And let's see if we can actually get a couple of wins here. I'm looking at Thunder Alchemist Vampire. Let's hit our man with a good luck. And, uh, and let's see what we can do. I'm actually super, super excited that they did adjust this. And it should be really fun. So let's see. We actually... Why do we have so much mana? Holy smokes. It gave us so much mana. Let's... Oh, little bug here. I'm going to keep on trying to focus on my vampires right off the bat. We only have trainer, but if we have a bunch of mana early, uh, we're going to be better for the long run, okay? Because it runs out fast, I feel like. So let's just... Let's get our vampire all the way up, and then we can start combining out. We actually can just do this right off the bat. I'm going to try and... I don't even know. I Alchemist is honestly kind of sneaky good. I don't know if it's smart to try and focus on Alchemist. We got Warlock coming. Uh, Thunderer is like not sneaky good, so that kind of scares me. Let's do... I'll do this right now. Okay, level rank, rank 2 Alchemist is good. Let's do a Thunderer. Wind Archer is also kind of weak. This is going to be a very interesting matchup because all three of our damage cards are kind of weak so maybe maybe i should really just be focusing on like my mana levels we just use utilize our vampires and just really try and get as much damage out there as possible and then combine out as we go i mean maybe that's the play we'll do this here um we do have 200 mana so let's just combine out there it's not bad Okay, we still have three vampires working hard. We got Warlock coming up in 17 seconds. I guess I'll do my Thunderer. And uh, and not too shabby. Let's look at his board. He's got two rank three vampires. I'd be very, very uh, tempted to combine those out right away. But obviously, you do want vampires this early on. You probably don't need two rank threes. But having uh, one rank three wouldn't be bad. Let's try and take out this Warlock. See what it does. Uh, oh, I could have done it with a mime. Dang. Couldn't think. Couldn't think. Uh, okay, 500. Not too bad. Got a couple of rank 2 alchemists. I'm just going to do a wind archer here. We got another that. Okay, I'm just going to do that with a mime. We got another rank 2. Let's just keep on trying to combine out rank 1s. I think that's not a bad play. I'm going to do mimes. Now we can do that. Let's do that. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. If we can get rank 3s, that would be even better. Like, I feel like the person who gets a rank 3 Thunderer is going to be in really good shape. Um, so, who would I want to combine out? I guess maybe I'll combine out rank... He's hitting me with an oops. I don't know. Oh, and now he's a rank 4 over there. Let's just keep dropping our trainer to try and keep on boosting our, our damage, our attack speed, all those things. We got one Wind Archer. Let's get it up. Why not? But running Alchemist, see, he's combining out a lot. Running Alchemist makes it so it's kind of hard to see where you are against your opponent because it's going to be hitting monsters all over your board rather than just in the front spot where you're where you're actually focusing in right there. Okay, so let's combine out here. I'm actually going to do this. Okay, let's do that. Let's do this. Wow, we got the same thing as him. Um, I'm going to go here. Let's do that. Rank 4 Thunderer is huge. Let's keep combining out here, combine out here. I'm going to come down here. Try and work our trainer back a little bit. But that Rank 4 Thunderer, so we are, we're currently losing. He's going away from Thunderer, okay? I'm almost going Thunderer heavy. He's going Alchemist heavy. So, 
with that thought process, maybe we'll be in a better spot against bosses, and he'll be in a better spot against waves. I'm assuming we'll take this guy out. I don't know why we wouldn't have why we wouldn't be able to take this guy out. If we can get back to our trainer, that would be super important. All right, we should be fine. It was super close, though. I don't like that at all. Let's do this. We got another alchemist, so that should help. Let's uh, let's get our last guy on our board. Another vampire, not not super ideal, but we've got a bunch of thunderers at a pretty high ranking. We've got a, a bunch of alchemists at a pretty high ranking. So let's just try and get our alchemist all the way to max, and uh, and keep on utilizing our trainer, and maybe we'll be in okay shape. As I say that, and I don't use it on the mini boss, but I'm gonna keep waiting because he scares me. This guy scares me. He's got a rank 4 Alchemist. We've got a rank 4 Thunderer. I think I would prefer a Thunderer. But the one thing that's nice about having more Thunderers than him is we actually have more slow this way. And we're getting to the end of his board. It is Banner Lord, so I'm assuming that this is going to be it for him. Come on, baby, get there. We just took out our Banner Lord. He's trying to. 20 seconds. I think this is it. We have our trainer. He does not. And there is a victory. And this is usually the longest time I've, I've waited. But if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure that you guys are subscribed. Like the channel. I post videos every single day as well as sneak peeks for when updates and things like this kind of come out. But also check out those memberships because we got a lot of things I know you guys will enjoy. Inclusive of a newsletter talking about the channel and talking about the game. And you can get your very own Mallard Bug just like me if you enter into the raffle and get in a rare membership. But right there, pretty good. I think I hit him with a good game. Hit him with another good game. So the only thing that's not equal is uh, is the hero levels. Okay, so his, his hero was 8, mine is 12. I think that does matter a decent amount. Oh, oh no, yeah, okay. So, so rares are 11, uh, epics are 10. Okay, interesting. Rares are 11, epics are 10. Does that mean commons are 12 and, uh, and legendaries are 7? I, I guess that would make sense. But this is much, much, much better as a mirror matchup than the other game mode. But let's keep going. We got one win under our belt. No way was that easy. It's kind of tough. I feel like the most important thing about mirror matchup is to kind of understand what you're trying to go for, like what you're trying to focus in on. And in that game, I didn't really feel like I had a good focus. I, I know I wanted a higher ranking Thunderer. I know I wanted to use my Vampire to get a bunch of mana. But I think he just kind of got a bunch of Alchemists, and I just kind of got a bunch of Thunderers. And the slow... Is, is what ended up winning us that game. So let's see if we can find a game. Let's see if we can go two for two here, and, uh, and let's continue on. Definitely put in the comments how you guys are doing in Mirror Matchup. Here we are jumping it. So we got Alchemist, Inquisitor, Chemist, Harlequin, Engineer. So this will be a very interesting deck. Let's hit our man with a good luck. We got Warlock. So right off the bat, I'm thinking... Let's focus on our Inquisitor. We've got J this time, which is our only slow in the whole game. So I think the best plan of attack would be build up some mana. We already got a thousand because we got that like early mana spam. But look at this. Already we spammed. And we didn't get any any inquisitors. He's got to four. Let's just try and let ours build up a little bit. And we can kind of go from there. I'm looking at the squares. Okay, let's do this. Let's do that. Go over here. I don't even know what I'm going to use my Harlequins for, except for, like, saving my skin every once in a while. Um, Because I really don't want to... All right, we got, a, <laughs> we got an Engineer over there. I think I'm just going to combine out Engineers for the most part. Obviously, I can make one of my, uh, well, actually, well, I can obviously make one of my Inquisitors rank two and get to all four, but I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried about getting there. I'd much prefer to get there, um, 
naturally rather than making a copy. And J will do us good. So there's four. Let's get our chemist up. Let's also get our inquis up one more time. Because I really, I mean, maybe that made the difference is that I don't know exactly when our, our last opponent um, leveled all of his mana levels up. But I think we did it very early. And that might have been what put us over the edge and gave us the advantage. So he's kind of got engineers lined up. We have at least a, a, a rank one, uh, bleh, I can't speak, rank two inquis. So, a little bit interesting. Let's just hit our J. Let's combine out as we need to. Can't do anything there. Hit my, it hit my executioner. I don't think executioner is really going to be doing all that much in this game. But, I mean, Harlequin is just such a random thing in here. I, I think the best plan of attack is to kind of take it very slow right i mean if i'm gonna spam my board i'm really gonna just try and do in quiz stuff so i don't want to go in too early and then not be able to get back to four because then i'd be in a lot a world of hurt so um right now i think we're okay let's try and fo oh we do we still have a execution i didn't even see that one up there but we're losing currently 1400 let's wait until we see a mini boss and then i'll try to do a little something something I guess his engineer setup is is helping out a bit. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. And uh, let's just do this for right now. Get my inquis up, my chemist up. He's spamming too. We got tamer next, so let's max out our inquis right away. And uh, honestly, we have an executioner ranked up, so why not use it? And uh, he got back to four. He did get a rank two, so that's nice. And he could connect all of his in his engineers if he so chose, which is what he did. He's got his J on deck. Oh my goodness, they got right to the end of his board. Uh, let's hit our J right here, see if we can take out this clump, which would be kind of nice. Oh, get a hit. There's a hit, there's a hit. Uh, okay, and there is a victory. Hit him with a good game. I think that whole, his clan name, Web Rage Royale, it's going to be okay, but it's going to be okay. Level 1 J, we had a level 5 J. I think the whole point of that game was timing. I think because we timed that better, we made sure, we made sure that we weren't doing any copies and that when we went from 1 to 4 to 7 in quizzes, we had like 2,000 mana to play with. I think he kept like poking his board and leveling stuff up. So then when he tried to follow suit to what I did, he didn't have the mana to actually get all the way there. But right there, not too shabby at all. He actually focused in on his uh, engineers more than his inquisitors, and it, and it shows in damage. Um, but I think inquis, if you, in almost any circumstance, if you're playing mirror matchup and you have inquis in your deck i think the best plan of action is to play in quiz and just focus on in quiz we actually had chemist in there as well as executioner which is i i mean they're pretty good combinations in there so once those were kind of set up you could level those up as well but if you guys want to catch me live make sure you guys check out the live stream i do it right here on youtube to make it super super simple for you guys and we always have such a fun community bunch of people show up and you can play with me you can play against me you can watch me push the ladder if the mirror matchup is going i'll play that if rush for glory is going i'll play that this is actually the first time ever right here that i'm going to be playing let's hit him with a good luck that i'm going to be playing with cultist first time ever wow so we got puppeteer I feel like I'm playing a bunch of new people, ripping Russian. Pretty cool. We got Snowflake this time. We got Crystal Mancer, Night Statue, Bombardier. So, you know, let's just take you through a couple of things that I'm thinking about. So, Cultists, you want to make sure you have them all together. So, more often than not, I'm probably going to just combine towards Cultist. Um, Reapers, I'm probably not going to keep a bunch of Reapers on the field. I'm going to try and only have one snowflake snowflake on the field at a time, really. With the knight statues, I'm going to try and be a little bit patient. 
just to always have the right amount of knight statues because it does go a long way. And since we have Snowflake at about a minute is the timing for me to hit Snowflake. Let's hit it now for us to always get back to it. So let's see. Um, I'm going to go up here because it's a rank 2. Okay. I'm going to come down here. Hmm. Let's go... It's Puppeteer anyway, so it's going to move us around. I'm going to do this. We got a lot of Bombardiers. Okay, not too shabby. He hasn't leveled any of his stuff either up. Oh, but he has a rank 3, a rank 2. A couple. His cultists are together. Wow. Well done, sir. But let's try to build up some mana here. We do have more Bombardiers than him, so hey. Uh... Let's try to build up some mana, and then come Puppeteer, we'll level a bunch of stuff up after that. We're, we should have around, I don't know, 1,200 mana, something like that. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. I try to last, or wait until the very, very last possible second to get all of that mana. And, uh, yeah, he's combining out quite good right now. But I guess we do have bomb Bombardier, so maybe we didn't even need to wait. Did it move him? I don't even know if it moved him. Uh, so let's just do this. I'm going to do this. And do that. Oh, that would have been so cool. Uh, let's do this. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go here. We go there. I so badly want. Well, now I don't have a a bombardier. I, my one rule. Uh, let's do that. Okay, we got one second. Let's get our cultist up. Let's get our Crystal Mancer up. We don't have any Bombardiers, so I feel bad. I probably shouldn't have combined those out, but we can get back to our Snowflake. Was that my only mistake? Mm. Okay, let's do our Snowflake. We got a Bombardier back. Let's get our Bombardier up. Crystal Mancer up, because we got a rank 4 down there. Maybe even some of our Reapers. Let's just try and focus on getting all of our stuff up right here. But his Cultist setup is so good. I'm going to go over here. There we go. We got a couple of cultists in a row now. Let's get our cultists up. Ooh, 35 seconds. Him having a rank 3 and a rank 2 next to each other is just so good on his part. And that's all it takes, guys. That's literally all it takes. Hit him with a good game. Uh, he, got his, he got his board set up very, very well, and there was nothing else we could really do. I tried to combine out towards my cultist. Uh, but I couldn't make it happen. Maybe he's a seasoned cultist player, uh, but but clearly I'm not. First time playing cultist, I couldn't make it work, guys. I couldn't do it. But that was pretty cool. And I and that's one of the best parts about mirror matchup is that you do can you can play with heroes and units that maybe you don't have and uh, and try it out and see how you do. But we're two and one right now. I'm gonna continue going. Uh, too bad on that one, but other, overall not too shabby and very happy with the doves. So doves, if you're if you're if you're watching, thank you for fixing Mirror Matchup. I think this is a huge step forward. But that's going to be the end of this YouTube video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video.